So is your Android phone running a little bit slow? In this video, what we're gonna do is go over some general troubleshooting steps you can take to kind of speed up your Android device. And this is gonna to apply to any Android device you own, so stay tuned. Let the download begin. So if you're new here and you want to learn how to use and troubleshoot devices, plus some other cool tech stuff, we can help. All you need to do is hit that subscribe button and that bell for notifications so you don't miss when we release some cool, helpful content. So if your Android phone is running slow, there's actually a couple things you can do to try to sort that out. Now, it's a little bit difficult to troubleshoot Android sometimes because there's so many different type of Android systems that are available in the wild. It's not just one operating system. It's an operating system sometimes on top of an operating system. But these steps that we're going to give you in this video are some general steps you can look at to kind of troubleshoot any kind of device that's moving slowly and that includes your Android phone, your Android tablet, or just any Android device in general. So one thing that can always slow down a device is if it's not fully patched or updated. So one of the first things you want to do is make sure your Android device is as updated as possible. You want to head into your settings and make sure you're running the latest version of that operating system, whatever it may be. You want to go into the settings, check for updates, make sure that there's no additional updates that are available in the settings. That will tell you that you're running the latest version of that Android. Updates sometimes go a long way in fixing patches, but they also go a long way in improving the performance of the overall device itself. So always update to the latest version of Android as quickly as possible. Maybe not too fast. You want to make sure that there's no bugs in the initial update, but once the bugs are cleared out, you want to always make sure your device is as updated as possible. And the next thing you want to do is free up any storage space you can. Did you know that storage can actually impact the performance of your device? It's true. If you're out of storage or if you have limited storage inside your device, your device runs slower, it's unable to process a lot of the things you're throwing at it at once. Short sure, RAM that's inside the device is used for the processing power, but storage is also called upon to process a lot of the activities that you need to do on your Android device. So if you're without storage or if you have limited storage, your device can run super slow. So you want to make sure that you're clearing out storage by deleting videos or pictures that you're just not using or think of offloading those pictures and videos onto a cloud storage, an SD card or portable hard hard drive. You want to go through the applications that are installed in your device and delete any application that you're currently not using. Applications tend to update automatically in the background. So if you have a ton of applications that you're just not using, they're still downloading updates from the Play Store. They're running processes in the background. You want to make sure you're limiting the pressure and stress that those applications are putting on your device. And the easiest ways to do that is just to delete the applications that you're no longer using. We go through and we download a ton of different applications and sometimes we just leave them on our device because we forget to delete them. Go through your applications list, either on your home screen or in your app drawer or in the actual settings of your device itself. Go through and see which applications you use versus which ones you don't use and just completely delete the ones that you don't use. It'll remove all the cached information. It'll remove all the data, all the background processing and the app itself from your device. And that can work a lot to free up a lot of processing space and help your device run a lot smoother and a lot faster. Now, in most Android systems, you have a battery optimization app. So that is usually in your settings. I know in the Samsung devices, it's under settings, under device care. You can actually clear out the cache, clear out the memory, and just do a battery optimization there. So if you do have that setting on your Android phone, you definitely want to go in and do that. You do want to also go into the settings and make sure you're clearing out any cached information that's there that can kind of build up in the back end of your device and slow your device down as well. If you're not sure exactly where to do that, for the majority of the time, if you know which application is using the most processing power, if you know which application is caching the most information, you can actually just go into your settings in into the application and into the app itself and you can always clear the app data from there and that can help speed up your device as well. Viruses and malware can also slow down your device as well. So if you feel that you've done everything to kind of optimize your device, you have enough storage, you're not running too many background processes, you may want to just do a quick scan for any kind of malware or viruses on your device itself. You can download a really cool free app. It's Malware Bytes. It's probably one of the most reputable malware softwares that's currently available. You can download that really quickly. You can use it for free to scan your device and see if it picks up any kind of malware that's on your device itself. Again, that could just be apps that you've either sideloaded or things that you've downloaded from the internet, things that can actually affect your device performance and help slow it down. That will go out, detect those particular programs, detect those particular software, and give you the ability to delete them completely from your system and help speed up the overall performance of your Android device. So guys, if you have any tips to speed up an Android device that I didn't mention in this video, go ahead and share that in the comment section down below. And until 
then if you want to learn how to protect your Android device from viruses and malware, go ahead and click on this video here. And this is something that YouTube believes you'd enjoy watching. Guys, thank you so much for checking out the video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, share, subscribe with that bell for notifications so you don't miss and release some cool, helpful content like this one. Until next time, guys. Peace.